I used to be a pretty well-known writer in Sweden, uh, writing quite other things in my real name, which is Jan Arnold. Uh, and then I suddenly wanted to try something completely different and start again as a writer, and I used the pen name, the secret pen name of Arne Dahl. Uh, so it became sort of a trademark, more than a name, perhaps. Uh, and... Uh, they thought in the film company that this was such a good name for a series because uh, it's not about a single detective. Then it's very easy to say this is a Henning Mankel or a Valander kind of figure or a series. This is the Valander series. So this is, yeah, you know, all the leading characters. But there was no leading character in my because it's a team working together, the A unit. And they couldn't call it the A unit, really. It was a little too silly. <laughs> and they came up with the idea that, uh, yes, we use the writer's name because it's not really a real name anyway, so we can sort of use it as a fictitious name at the same time. And for me, it was, of course, great PR. <laughs> I wanted to do something social. I mean, where it's actually a team working together with the problems and the benefits of, of, of being a team working together. Um, so I, I, instead of creating one protagonist that's really strong, I created sort of six or seven equally strong characters. They're not supposed to be flat figures in the background, but uh, real main characters, all of them. So they could carry a book each, if I wanted that. Uh, and I was planning from the beginning to write 10 books in 10 years. It was an, a very special, uh, you know, project, 10 years project. And I thought, if it's just going to be about one guy, it's going to be boring in the end. You have to carry him through 10 books. Instead, I wanted to have several people developing in different directions and entering different relationships with each other. And so I, I created a sort of collective storytelling that I really came to enjoy. Creating them strong as characters. They're supposed to carry a lot of things in their backgrounds and so on. But I didn't create that background. I wanted it to grow on them so I could use it in different ways. So they developed very much as characters through the series. I mean, I plan my plots very exactly and very precisely, but not the characters. They were allowed to evolve in their own tempo and their own ways. Right now we're at a rather interesting uh, stage I I about the TV series because it's recently been said that it's going to be a second season of the series, which was supposed to happen already sort of a year ago, but uh, it's taken some time with the financing. It's, it's difficult to, to fix this puzzle of finance when it's a pretty long and expensive uh, series. But now all the pieces are in place and in 2015 it will come to Britain. In a way, especially if you're writing about some international crimes and, and things going on in different parts of the world, you tend to always research, in a way. When you're in a place, you notice as a crime writer that this could be a good place for some kind of crime. So uh, I guess I'm always researching. But of course all this traveling uh, also means that there is less time to write. So I, I have to be more focused when I write nowadays, which is a good thing in many ways, but can also be a bit, uh, a bit of a burden. The A unit series consists yeah. of 10 books, really. Uh, I wrote those 10 books in 10 years as I planned. Uh, and then I had a, an existential crisis when I had to leave them, and I wrote a book number 11. So uh, that's really 11 books there, 
I wrote a number 11 in, in sheer panic, having to leave the characters. And then I had a few years, and then I started a new series with some of the characters returning in a different context, not so much Sweden anymore as more Europe. So it's more European police that I created in the last four books. I finished the book number four in this second series, which is for the time being anyway, the, the last one. Uh, I finished it uh, two days ago, I think. Um, and that was already since three months or something in the catalog for the uh, summer uh, editions uh, in my publishing house, so it was necessary to finish. <laughs> so that was really deadline-driven, yes. And it almost killed me. 